This video helps to learn planting systems in horticultural crops. Subscribe this channel and click the bell icon to get instant notification of new videos posted here. Planting system is a system or pattern of arrangement of crops for planting in orchard or plantation. It provides maximum plant population per unit area, suitable space for proper growth and development of crops, and facilitates orchard management. The common planting systems followed in orchard or plantation are rectangular system, square system, isosceles triangular system, equilateral triangular system, quincunx system, cluster system, hedge system, contour system, and terrace system. In rectangular system, the area is divided into rectangular grids and crops are planted at all the corners of rectangles. The plant population in this system is calculated by dividing area by planting distance. In square system, the area is divided into square grids and crops are planted at all the corners of the squares. The plant population in this system is calculated by dividing the area by planting distance. In isosceles triangular system, the area is divided into isosceles triangular grids and crops are planted at all the corners of the isosceles triangles. It is like square system except the crops in the even-numbered rows are midway between plants in the odd-numbered rows. The plant population in this system is 11% less than square system. In equilateral triangular system, the area is divided into equilateral triangular grids and crops are planted at all the corners of equilateral triangles. The row-to-row -row distance is calculated by multiplying 0.866 with plant-to-plant -plant distance. As planting of trees also form the shape of hexagon with crops in the center, it is also known as hexagonal system or septule. The plant population in this system is 15% more than the square system. The plant population in this system is calculated by dividing the area by product of 0.866 and planting distance. In quincunx system, the area is divided into square grids and plants of main crop are planted at all the corners of the squares and plants of short-lived filler crop are planted at the center of squares. The short-lived filler crops are removed when the main crop come to bearing. As planting of trees also appear on the diagonal lines of the area, it is also known as diagonal system. The plant population in this system is double the number of square system. The plant population in this system is calculated by adding main crop population with filler crop population. Main crop population is calculated by dividing the area by planting distance. Filler crop population is calculated by multiplying the number of lengthwise rows minus 1 and number of widthwise rows minus 1. In cluster system, the area is divided into square clusters and crops are planted at all the corners of clusters. The distance between the clusters is double the distance between the plants in a cluster. The plant population in this system is twice the population of square system. In hedge system, the area is divided into hedges where crops are planted at closer spacing. It may be single or double hedge. In single hedge system, the area is divided into hedges which are set apart at wider spaces. In double hedge system, the area is divided into hedges and a wider spacing is given after every two hedges. The plant population in this system is 22% more than single hedge system. Plant population in this system is calculated by the product of number of hedges and area divided by the product of distance between the plants in the hedge and sum of distance between hedges and distance between rows. Contour system is adopted in the hills with gentle slopes. In this system, a series of contour lines which join points of equal elevation are drawn and crops are planted along the contour lines. Terrace system is adopted in the hills with steep slopes. In this system, a series of flat surfaces known as terraces are formed across the slope and crops are planted on the terraces.